They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. What's up, everybody? My name is David from Ball Guy Media, bringing you the passing play breakdown from the Pistol East tight formation. We already ran, showed you the main run call. I will link that in the pinned top comment. Uh, but here we have two pa passing plays, T option. This is um, very similar to the wing tight passing play out of the run heavy playbook. And then you have bench, which is pretty self-explanatory, but with some motion, you can make it look a little bit different. So let's get into it. Here, we're just gonna run as is versus cover to man. Motion in Brown here. Generally, he gets a, Brown will get, you know, a little release there and cut across, but you still have the corner as, you know, it's bench. No one's blitzing here. You also have, I use this guy as a pick route, Alberto right here, if I leave him on this route, but you also can pass lead it down and underneath. Now this red route here, versus most man coverages, he's gonna run a post, but versus cover one, he will a lot of times run a deep fade and you'll see it, but you see, you know, you got two, you got a, a corner and a post there out of this formation. And you can do whatever you want with Brown. You can put him on a drag, just like right here. When I put him on a drag, a lot of times you get the man to bump into each other and you get a wide ass open play. So that's a good one. And I also like the most men put him on a streak. Uh, you'll see in a, in a clip, at the end of the video where I put him on, um, not a streak, a slant when I motion him in and his man and the user couldn't keep up with him. So, and this is, I'm gonna show you a little bit of a man glitch. See, when I motion over Dallas Goddard and I put him on a route, his man that was responsible for, responsible for him is the outside corner. So he's uncovered. It's pretty cool, right? You also get something like that out of some other tight end formations, 13 personnel to be exact. This is the per, see, all right, getting all over the place here. That is the fade. This is first cover one. You can either pass lead it and throw it deep over the top, or you can uh, rocket catch it and click on and get a ag catch. And then also, a lot of times, Grant Calcaterra will cook his man on a deep corner versus cover one, cover zero. This is verse cover four. You saw this set up from beginning of the video. And I guess, I think it's palms, which cover four this is, cause that guy had man responsibility. He moved in and over to cover Goddard and just got cooked to the corner. And I mean, this is like any other play do whatever freestyle you want. People really have blitzes right now, so that makes it easier, but you can block whoever you want. And as you see, Albert O is on that outside release. When Goddard is moving inside and you put Albert O on a streak, the faster you do it, the more of an outside release he'll have, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you saw Zan's video, but he broke down how to, to do this. I just found this out by mistake, just trying to audible real quick. That's tight, but it's in there. And then, you know, your normal cover three beater on the left side where you have Grant Calcaterra running the corner with Brown on a fade or a streak. Here, I left him on that option route and look, he ran up the seam. Now I could have hit Grant Calcaterra on the corner. But I just wanted to show you that you can do that with this. Or you can just put him on a streak and it'll work the same. I might even work that in there too. Again, cover three, boom. I wouldn't pass a lot out of this formation. Here we're gonna put him on a streak. This is Albert O. Make sure you put Albert O 
uh, on the street before you motion him over. But look, just right up the seam, boom. Tight end streak out of the backfield. And then here you can mix in this wheel route I've been trying to work in. This is kind of the freestyle. This is versus cover four. I think it's, this was actually Pops because looks like the outside corner played down on um, Brown doing the same thing. Now, if the user takes that, then you can't throw it. But if he's going to be cheating to the other side for the corner post, the corner um, streak fade combination, then you can hit this first most zone. All it is is a flat corner and a wheel out of the backfield, right up the seam. <clears throat> and like when I come out in this formation, people have no idea what this is. It's in the Eagles or the Colts playbook. I run it in a custom, but still, people don't see this very often and we have a very nice run play out of it that we get big yardage out of. So if they're gearing up for the run when you hit that with them a couple times or once, you know, I, I, I mix up all the information. So there you have it. Please like and subscribe. Have fun. Let me know how you make out. And uh, we'll see you next time for more breakdowns for this 13 personnel mega scheme. Throwing from the gun, it hurts. That is cool. Start the drive. That is caught. It's the tight end down. Touchdown.